Are we in Utah right now, Lincoln? No, we're very far away from Utah. Where are we exactly? We're in the Grand Cayman Islands right now. Grand Cayman Islands are otherwise known as the Cayman Islands. We brought something with us. What did we bring, Lincoln? A bunch, a bunch, a bunch of sand dollars. A bunch of sand dollars. Look at these things. On our second channel, on our family channel, we put out an awesome video that I'm gonna link right here in the top of our entire trip. Marriott hooked us up with free hotel rooms. We did some crazy things. Lincoln got bit by a stingray. Not stung, but bit. Yeah, they had mouths and Lincoln decided to put his hand under the mouth. I was swimming. I had it like this while I was trying to touch it and then it came up and... We basically hung out at the beach for days and days and days. So you can see all of that on the family channel. Maybe I'll show you a little quick montage of our experience. But now it's time to get to business. What in the world are these sand dollars? They get their name because back in the day when these would wash up on shore like this, people thought that they looked like an old US dollar or Mexican dollar. They started calling them sand dollars because they're like a dollar from the sand. So they're basically just sea urchins, that's it. And these are the legs that are right here on the top. You can see the mouth on the bottom. So these guys will just kind of go along the sandy area of the beach in the water and eat things and they live for about eight to ten years so when these guys are in the ocean they're basically green or purple they're a different color but then what happens is when they die they kind of come up to the top and they get bleached out by the sun and they turn white it has some interesting symbolism that they have and um, I'll put a link in the description to kind of the symbolism but some of them reference um, Christ and like Easter and some of them reference peace There's a bird. Oh, this guy is so interested too. Yeah, he's interested in sand dollars too, that little bird. Or he thinks that these sand dollars are actually pieces of bread that we are going to give him. We need to get inside of it. The first thing is, I'm gonna see if Lincoln is strong enough to actually break one open himself. What do you think, Lincoln? Right in half. Whoa, he did it. I did it. Dang, that was easy. All right, what's inside of there? What is that? It's a moth. A moth, okay. Look at this little bone. This is a bone actually from it. Oh, these are all bones? Yeah, but they look like doves. And so people think oh, that it's it. like a peace symbol that five doves fly out. It's all white also inside. That's, this is where this guy eats. That bird keeps coming back. It knows that we're finding birds and doves inside of these sea urchin sand dollars. Don't worry, they're not real birds, bird. They're real birds, bird. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, you got the dove. It's trying to fly away and you stopped it. That is cool. <laughs> nice. We have a mass murder of sand dollars here on the bed. Oh man, doves everywhere. We've done a lot of different nature type videos. We're gonna put this in that category. Check out some of our other ones if you haven't. I'll put a link in the description right here. 